Looking at the graph that, that uh, Phil Canella showed today, I thought that it was really, it, it sort of brought it home because you could really see the progression of where certain things went and then how the crash-proof retirement lined up against that. So I think that was really good. I think it made it really, really clear in my mind that there was a better way to do things. I was extremely impressed by the Wharton School uh, graph that they put up and, and just the success over the last 12 years I was very impressed at, at the way the graph went up, how there was absolutely no dips during the time that there were so many crashes in, in, in the retirement plans that everyone's been invested in. And when, I, when I heard about the Wharton study and, and how it you know, evaluated the S&P 500 performance against you know, um, the, uh, the, the crash-proof uh, opportunities for crash-proof vehicles, um, I was not aware, number one, that there was the number of crash-proof available vehicles, um, was not aware that they um, were at a no-fee basis to the investor. When I saw the Wharton study and I saw the graph and I saw um, how you know, the traditional 500 performed uh, and then found out that there were actually other alternatives that we never hear about. Um, I mean, I'm upset and I'm just kind of wondering why that information isn't available to everybody. Why is it such a hidden secret? You know, I, I, it doesn't make sense to me um, and I want to learn more about it.